Okay, today in our ph phonics, we're going to be looking at the long oo family. Okay, so we've got five members of this family. We've got oo as in pool, oo as in chew, oo as in glue, oo as in fruit, and oo as in flute. So they're all making the same long oo sound. But as you can see, there are five different ways of spelling. This is when our phonics gets a little complicated. Okay, so what we're going to do is you're going to need a pen and a piece of paper divided into five, just like this. So we've got the, all the different columns with all the different sounds. Okay, so if you need to pause the video now, pause it now, divide your column into five and get ready with a pen. Okay, well done. So let's have a look. Oh, the first picture is all as in pool. Okay, and that is using the double O digraph. So let's add the first one in. P. Ooh. Oh, pool, like a swimming pool. Okay, so that's going to go into our first column. Okay, when we finish this activity on the video, video maybe you could go through these and see if you can add any more words. Okay, that's our swimming pool. Oh, right, now we have a picture of a, a cube. Okay, it's a 3D shape and we've learned about those at school. It's a cube. You might have one of these games at, at home. They're a Rubik's cube. Cube. Now, cube is a split vowel digraph, so we're going to add it in right on the end column here. So it's the k u b e. U, it's the long oo sound made by the U sound in the split vowel digraph. Okay, next picture, ah, a tube. Okay, so when Mrs. Goss was researching tube photos, I found some test tubes that you'll use in science. I found the underground in London, which is also called the tube, U tube, and a tube like a 3D shape, a tube, okay? And again, you can see that that's a split vowel digraph. It's a t, even though we say ch, tube, it starts with a t, u, b, a tube. Fantastic, it's a good old example of a homophone there. Okay, oh, a picture of a, of a moon, m, u, n, moon. And it's, it's the double O digraph in moon. So let's add this into this column. Mm, ooh, mm. This is all going to be very helpful with our spelling and our reading. Most importantly, with our spelling to improve our writing. Oh, some glue. G, L, U. Okay, we've got the U sound. But actually in glue, it's made by the U and the E digraph, g, o, u. Can you see? Gl, u. Well done. You can add that one to the list, the glue. Next picture is a picture of a screw. If you were screwing two things together. Let's have a look now. The screw, the u sound in screw is you is we're using the e, e, w digraph. So let's add that one on. Uh, ooh, screw. Fantastic. Good work. Let's have a look at our next picture. Oh, what colour is that paint? Right, it's blue. B, L, U. Again, the long O sound at the end, made by the U and the E. So there's no rules to this, you've just got to learn them. Blue. Fantastic. Okay, blue paint, moving on to a whole collection of fruit, 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 and fruit is the U and the I, that's a tricky one, that one, it's the U and the I, so it's the F, R, and then the A uh, and the I together making an U, and then the last sound you hear is a T, fruit. Fruit. That's very tricky, that one. Well done if you got that one, and well done if you can spell that one. Fantastic. Oh, this man is wearing a very smart suit. Suit. 
Oot. Suit, if you've read The Smartest Giant in Town, he has a very smart suit. Well, he starts off with one. And it's the U and the I. S. Oot. Suit. <laughs> Another tricky one. Fantastic. Phonics is getting better and better every single time you watch one of these videos. Now this man here, he's playing an Indian flute. F, fru, u, t, flute. And the word flute is made by the split vowel digraph spelling. F, l, u, t, e. And it's the silent e on the end that changes this a uh sound into the long oo sound flute. It's changing it into its vowel sound. Well done. It's the Indian flute. Or oh, lots of packets of chewing gum. Ch ooing. Chewing. Okay. Chew. And that is made by the E W sound. So if we write the word ch oo, that's the word chew. If you chew your food, we can also write the word chew ing gum. Chewing gum. So we've added two more onto that list. Well done. So we've got chewing gum. What else have we got? <gasps> Some tissues. Now, tissues is another difficult word to spell because it's got two S's in it, but we sound it as in a ch. So let's have a look at how to write the word tissue. It's going to go into this column with the oo sound at the end use, using the a uh and the e diagraph. So t, i, that's quite easy. And the sh in tissue is made by two s's, tis. And then the u sound, the long oo sound, tissue. Fantastic. Tricky word. Oh, some fruit. Juice. Juice. We've already got the word fruit here. Fruit. Now we need to add juice. J. U. S. And it's the soft S. The soft K. Soft K sound at the end. J. U. S. Well done. There's some very tricky words I've added in today to really challenge your spelling. Well done. And that's the OO family. Okay, I look forward to seeing your suggestions to your lists you've made. Thanks for watching today and bye for now.